Hi everyone, today I'm going to be starting a new game called Valley. It's about a guy who becomes lost in a valley uh, where the, apparently the United States government came across uh, this tree seed. Uh, I don't know, and then they start experimenting on it and they can either save the world or destroy the world. Basically, this guy becomes lost in the valley, so he has to uncover what the United States government was doing and try to save the world and save this seed. This game, kind of like Infernium, uh, was one of those games where no one had played it. Not a single YouTuber had a video of it. Um, so I had no idea what to expect, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm really looking forward to playing it again. It's been five or six years since I played it, so I just remember it was really good, and been wanting to play it again really badly and I don't know why it says 316 hours because I did not I did not play it for that long maybe 30 or 40 hours but but we'll start a new slot and then just go from there oh, I forgot you can uh, select the gender the life seed is said to contain an incredible earth-shattering power. While mostly written off as a myth, some archaeologists archeolog <laughs> are still determined to track down the elusive item, luring some to the incredibly remote locations. But yeah, it's like you have a, this like leaf suit that was developed by the United States government. And you can use it to like jump around and suck life out of things, or you can restore life. So I thought that was a really cool aspect. And every time you die, the environment around you dies. Um, but then you collect this energy where you can actually end up restoring, uh, restoring the life. And I think that's really cool. And if I remember correctly, I think even the music like changes. It's like the more dead the world is. Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... What was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but... Can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. Yeah, this was such a good game. I can't believe no one had played it at the time. This was five or six years ago. And since then, other people have played it and uploaded it. So this won't be the first by any means. Useless discount new lessons. Oh, the radio is toast. And in a way, it kind of is like a walking simulator in a little bit. Ruins, cave drawings. Where the hell am I? Uh, there's the life seed. This sensitivity is bothering me a little bit. <laughs> now that's a little better. I've just figured that out. Sensitivity might be up a little too much.
Yeah, I'm gonna tone that down just a hair. And I am playing this on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, if you're playing this on a PC or maybe like Xbox or something like that, graphics would probably be better. They usually are versus the Nintendo Switch, but I just can't afford to buy it again for PC to play it. So I'm just going to play it on Nintendo Switch, and I mean the graphics are still good. You just have to keep that in mind if you're playing it on something else, it's probably a lot better. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. The valley. Oh, and there it is. Right on cue. See, and then you have these, like, orbs that you can collect. I can't do that right now because I don't have the leaf suit. And these are like these little creatures. So they're harmless. Hello. Oh, uh, they're like forest sprites? What is this place? How hard did I hit my head? Pretty hard, I would say. Yeah, they're like forest sprites or forest nymphs. Nymphs, something like that. An old army truck. Must have crashed years ago. Pendulum. Welcome to the Pathfinder program. As a Pathfinder, you will be tasked with operating and testing the newly developed Leaf Suit as our hard-working scientists at Pendulum develop new ways to empower our troops fighting the war in Europe. With the power of the Leaf Suit, you will be able to perform unimaginable feats. Leaping high into the air. Sprinting as quickly as a cheetah. Even manipulating life and death itself are all part of the many stunts accomplished by the Leaf Suit. In addition to these marvelous wonders, an audio reel recorder built directly into the suit allows a Pathfinder to conveniently listen to important intelligence hands-free during training exercises. And don't forget to keep an ear out for new upgrades available for your suit, as our scientists continue looking for new ways to improve the fearsome might of the Leaf Suit. Good luck and safe journey as you test the limits of this amazing new technology. Sweet. Yeah, see now, look at that. I mean, you can just jump really high. Virginia King, Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long-lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth-shattering power, was found. That's as good a place as any to study them. 
search for the life seed near the dig site. I'm going back because there was some energy stuff at that tree. Um, that's the thing about the game. There is a little bit of backtracking. Hmm. Some kind of mass. Uh, a little bit of backtracking just to, like, explore everything. There we go. I think I'm already full, though. Yeah, and you can, like, run really freaking fast. There's like some upgrade, I think, later on that allows you to run really freaking fast. And there's this really cool segment where you gotta run really fast and jump and shatter into a building, like jump through the windows. Access tunnel A. And there's the valley. A man on something, not sure. What oh, he's in a leaf suit. Okay. I was about to say, I cannot decipher what he's on top of. Northeast dig site. I may need to turn down the sensitivity more. Holy crap. Okay. There are enemies in this game. I don't think they show up this early. But there are things that can kill you. Archaeological excavation site. Dig site location northeast on trail. I think that's what that's trying to say. Run down slopes to gain momentum, jump higher and farther. Energy stored within the leaf suit known as Amrita can be given to once living things. Ah, uh, there we go. So that these trees are dead, you can give them back their life. And things can become more lively. I thought this was. Oh, there's a deer. Okay. Collect enough to gain access to certain ancient doorways. That was like a golden acorn. So here's a deer. You can actually bring it back to life. Oh, that's so cool. And then the deer runs off. Pathfinder access only. Leaf suits must be worn. Can't remember if there was any more acorns back this way. Yeah, I know I'm low on energy. I 
not going to go through and collect all the acorns. Because that'd be a, it's a bit tedious to do. And there's like a hundred of them. Oops. I don't think there's anything up here. But yeah, the music is really great. The environment is so cool looking. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ooh, uh oh. I don't can't remember if there's any fall damage or not, to be honest. I don't think. There we go, we got some more energy back. And you can suck life from things to get your blue energy bar back. Because in the top left corner, you do have the blue energy bar. That's basically your health. So in that goes completely out, you're, you're done for. Man, I like this kind of music. I love, like, instrumental. I think it's because I listen to people talk all goddamn day that I get sick and tired of people's voices. So when I usually listen to music, Literally just instrumental. And then another thing I really like about this game is as you run faster, I don't know if it's my imagination or not, but it's like the music picks up. It like becomes louder and more instruments. I think that's already good. This one's hot. Deers running around still, wondering what the hell just happened. Oh, I should have jumped. I should have sprinted there. Touching a an orb to absorb its energy. That's already good. These medallions are said to said to be used to access an ancient pyramid. Collect enough pieces to gain entry to its chambers. Pretty sure I did that the first time I played this game. And it was a pain in the butt to collect all of them. It's just a rock. Oh, it's just 
One of those leaf statue, wooden statue frame things. Oh, there's a tree. Top this now. Oh yes. Oh, give me that. Don't really remember what the acorns do. Oh, there's one out there. Okay, I just run over them. I don't need to press anything to pick them up. Been, been a while. Good five or six years since I played this game. Damn it, I was trying to hit this one. Oh, oh damn, I almost got stuck. Any more deer friends need reviving? Any more woodland creatures? Life can also be taken from nearby living things rich in energy, such as a tree or animal to replenish your suit. Less robust, robust life forms such as blades of grass provide no value. Oh, there's a bunny! Or a rabbit, one of the two. Holy crap, that gave a bunch of them. Why can't I pick that one up? That one's glitched. Okay, whatever. Find a way through the ancient ruins. Ah, pathway opened up. Excavation site. The army calls this valley Area 634. But I've ascribed a new word for it. Sussurus. The beauty of that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Sasurians. To think these ruins have existed here for so long, that they predate any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? And they must have had some way of uh, transferring life power too, in order to for these doors to open and close with the life and death of these trees. That's so cool looking. And these little forest sprites. I already know how to open crates. Energy capacity is increased with capacitor upgrades. Find four, four to complete an energy cylinder. See, I really like these really cool, chill games. 
We can just kind of wander around, do a little thing, a few things. Got some good music, cool environments. I want to relax and de-stress at the end of the day. is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders since they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is going to want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. Yeah, and there's a reason you know, they aren't mass produced. I mean, these little energy orbs only exist in this valley. And they do take life from the environment, so you don't want a bunch of people out there just taking life away. You'll end up destroying the whole planet. Soldiers piloting leaf suits leap effect effortlessly through air functionality are known as pathfinders. Their ability to manipulate life with running speeds up to 110 kilometers an hour makes them a deadly addition to the battlefield. Leap effortlessly, <laughs> effortlessly through an air functionality. Wow, that's a mouthful. And they don't look very comfortable either, those leaf suits. Continue search for life seed. Nothing back here. Just what are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over? They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> it's such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But, I suppose, it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. And the glowing mushrooms. Ah, uh, so beautiful. I mean, this is something I really love it. Beautiful graphics. Sorceress Valley. I don't think there's anything up here. Oh, well, there might be. Damn. It's like sometimes he moves just a little and there's other times he goes flying.
don't think there's anything up here. I think I'm just wasting my time. I think that's such a cool mechanic. Ooh, okay. I'm dead. Yep, so now you've been resurrected. The leaf suit's quantum death functionality allows the user to return to life after dying. But in doing so, it sucks life from the valley. So the trees around you will die. Ooh, barely made that one. But life, but life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it is fully depleted. Or fully deadened. Without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. See, because I died, this deer died. But I can bring it back to life. There you go, little buddy. Let's bring these back. Restore some of the health. And up there in the top left, you can actually see it. The number of leaves tells you the valley health. There we go, much better. That's way too high up there. There we go. Right button, you can actually pull the orbs it's to clear you. clear to me that the natives of the valley worshipped the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. According to my interpretations, once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed life seed said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. So that tree produces the life seed. Note from a pathfinder. Those acorn doors are pretty neat. Captain Hall ordered us to collect enough acorns to open all the passageways in sector three. I'm about halfway there. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Whoop. Bring you back. My little rabbit.
Pretty sure I need to go. Ooh, that's not gonna make it. Oh, that's not gonna make it. Okay. Fine. Uh, I need to get to that tower. Can I make that though? Oh, I don't know if I can make that. Ooh, barely. Okay. The origin of this valley's inhabitants continues to elude me. They seem to have coexisted with the mysterious forest sprites. I find loose hints of Mesoamerican civilizations such as the Olmec with their renowned colossal headstone sculptures dating back to 900 BC. Strangely though, the Olmec civilization was much younger and located no less than 5,000 kilometers away from here. Sweet. and the tree got taller. Let's go this way. Then you get to those other towers. Ooh. Oh no! Okay. Oh. Uh, didn't matter. I panicked. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make that jump. Where did it put me? It's alright. There we go, let's get the valley back. So we got one more leaf. Let's go this way. Ooh, there's something over there. Perfect. Can I call these over, please? Now, I think that one I just got is probably the hardest the hardest tower to get. Oh no, I thought that was a deer. We have to resurrect all dead animals we come across. It is imperative to our mission. That one, perfect. Oh, there's one right here. Uh, I think I need to run at that. Damn. 
Get it. According to legend, the life seed is said to be a bringer of death on a global scale, splintering the earth into fragments. Such end time scenarios are common across mythologies, from the apocalypse to Ragnarok. However, it's unusual for the event to surround a particular object, especially one acquired by mortals. Yeah, it's like life seed depending on who holds it. Can either bring about prosperity and life for a thousand years or it could destroy the, the planet. It just depends on how you use it. And it's like the indigenous Native Americans, I guess, use it to bring about life. Um, and then, of course, the United States government got a hold of it. And they decided to use it to try and make war. And that's caused problems. So it's a good thing you actually came along. Because you actually end up saving the world. By giving life to trees, there is a chance one or more golden acorns will drop. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Three. What you got for me? The playful little sprites of this valley, which I've come to call daemons, are so lively. I've done my best to study their behaviors, but without a zoologist on site, I'm mostly coming up dry. They're completely harmless, so the army tends to ignore them as they go about their research. I wonder if the world would clamor to have these daemons as pets. I'm sure my mother could use one. Better than all those feral cats in her backyard anyways. I mean... I don't think that's a good idea to have them as a pet. I mean, I understand the desire to have something cute. But they seem a little be a little bit more sentient than a dog or a cat. I don't remember what these acorn things give me. Note from Virginia King. My mother would tell me stories of daemons as ghostly and benevolent nature spirits. That name seems fitting. It would have to do for now until a zoologist can classify the forest sprites more appropriately. And I think daemons is just another word for demons. It's like a more older, wor older word. Ugh. Like a more Latin word or Greek, something like that. Wait. Tree has been restored. Is that everything? I think so. Watch out. Oh, damn it. There we go. Let's just take me back there. Let's get some more energy. Oh, damn it. Alright, I can put it back.
Tak, są. Big tree. Oh yeah, plenty, plenty. We can go underground. How did this civilization take hold so far north? The land here isn't arable, yet the population that lived here was clearly sedentary in nature. This leads me to believe this place was used as a sacred ground. Are these monuments to the mythical cannibal giants of native lore? The Sai Te Ka? Quite possible. Get up. Five. Oh, it's an upgrade, I believe. Note from a Pathfinder. Just my luck. First day on the training run. And what do I run into? One of those Amrita swarms. They kept on warning us about it in the briefing. The darn thing nearly killed me. Thank goodness I had enough energy to pacify the swarm. What on earth made them so damn aggressive? Uh, you did. Get to higher and further areas by double jumping with the Icarus boost upgrade. E each boost costs one unit of energy. Andrew Fisher, lead physicist. Beginning Pathfinder testing on the Icarus boost upgrade. <laughs> the secondary boost augmentation to the leaf suit should allow a pathfinder to jump twice in sequence through the air. Oh, you gotta be joking. The height and distance of their leap drastically. Reporting oh. defects to a commanding officer immediately. There we go. Holy crap. That was a bit of a difficult jump. Note from Virginia King, while pyramids are common throughout Mesoamerica, I still couldn't believe my eyes seeing one such structure here in the valley. Thankfully, the military had the decency to build one of their grotesque facilities a few hundred meters away. Apparently, the Pathfinders are seeking a way to get in by gathering artifacts. Yeah, and I don't really think you can get in until you've completed, like, the game. Anyway, so... Ooh, okay. We're gonna need to double jump that. Alright. Perfect. life seed is produced. I was so excited when I discovered there was one found in the valley. Apparently the military was just as excited as they immediately confiscated it to study at the Soma facility on the mountaintop. They won't let me anywhere near it. Must be atop the elevator shaft outside. Life seed cradle. Organic structure housing embryonic plant. So this is where the life seed was. There's one really good scene with these railroad tracks that the leaf suit can run on that's 
so freaking cool. That's a bunch of jumping really fast. Oh, I can't wait for that section. For maximum momentum. Maximum momentum. Ooh, perfect. I missed it. I missed the tree. I missed it again. Oh my god. Oh, I got a plethora of acorns. I just really like bringing things back to life. I think that's such a cool mechanic. Beware of Amrita swarms. Amrita? They can be pacified with life energy. Damage from their attacks affects your energy count. Damage at zero energy results in death. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I know. Alright. I can't remember if it's permanent or just temporary. Oh, that one rolled under. I still got it, though. Somehow got it through the metal. Soma Loading Bay. All drivers must shut off engines, set brakes, shock wheel. Chalk wheels. I think that's what it was supposed to say, but instead they put shock. Anything over here? Does not look like. It. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing over here. Out in this valley, it's those damn Amrita swarms that seem to infect this place. They aren't so bad when they're calm, but when they're starved of Amrita energy, they become incredibly aggressive, sending waves of drones toward intruders in suicidal attacks. They seem to be becoming angrier the longer we're here. <laughs> Why do you think that? You're damaging their home. Wait. Energy canister increases your suit's energy capacity. Sweet. Area 634, utility lift. Memo, in case of power shortage, please use Amrita generators. Generators used by the army have been designed to accept Amrita energy. Try activating one with your suit's energy. Ah, get one last look at this little valley. Before the next area. <sighs> when a Pathfinder dies while wearing a leaf suit, they, have, they are revived at the cost of other nearby living things. This exciting yet dangerous functionality is known as the Quantum Immortality. Get to the Soma facility at the mountain, atop the mountain. Sweet. 
sweet. Oh, oh, crap. At least there's no fall damage. Titan Rock. Checkpoint 1, some of Freight Service Entrance. From what I've been told, Sisorus was discovered back in 1811 by a surveyor seeking to map this remote region. No one believed what he reportedly saw. Due to the sheer remoteness of this region, his story was written off as the senile delusions of an old man, and his tale was soon forgotten. It was not until recently that the government was approached by a scientist named Andrew Fisher to use location as an alternative energy project of some sort. How he came to discover this place is beyond me. Did he know about the life scene? Well, I guess we will be finding out uh, later in the story. So I'm going to be ending it right here for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be picking this up in the next video. So thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.